The Smart Board of Revolution Google Plus community presents a smart survival guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. And this episode is about the random word generator widgets. There are three of them that can be found. So we'll take a look briefly at all of them. They're very similar. So to find your widgets, you're going to go to your gallery tab and in your My Content folder, once you have them installed, you'll have to download and install them. So make sure you see the video on how to do that if you don't know how. Down here we have the random words. We'll start with this one. So you can double click or drag it out. Very similar to others, the eye will give you information about how to use it. And the gear is your settings, your edit mode. You can type the words in that you want to show up. So these could be spelling words, they could be vocabulary words. And after you type it in, you click the plus to add it up here to your list. And you can add, obviously, as many as you need to there. How many words per click? Up to six. And then you select OK. So here are the words. When you click, you get a different word this will input the word into your page and usually it shows up there at the bottom right of the widget so now you have a student come up and okay draw the rectangle okay come up and draw a square and obviously you'd have more than three but there's a possibility of how you might use it now unfortunately with this one there is no way to resize it there's no resize handle here in the corner. And one of the other options here with this random words is you can fetch all text objects. So if you have text objects on a page, they're in there now. And to delete any of them, obviously, the trash can. And then OK. So you might do that ahead of time and then go ahead and delete these. And then in the lesson, maybe you're going to use these for a sentence. So here we've got the first word, walked. Okay, student will come up, put that there. All right, what's our next word? Cat. Okay, so where might that go in the sentence? Before or after walked? Hmm, talk about it. Student comes up and moves it. All right, let's go to another word. Hmm, now we have two. Where might that come in the sentence? Not sure, we'll leave it over here for later, right? This could be how you use this. Unfortunately, there's no option to not duplicate the words, only use them once. Click through them. Oh, walked to the, oh, so maybe, maybe someone sees that. Or someone says, wait, but we might want to put the here, the cat walked to oh okay well it could go both places couldn't it well we'll see let's see what else do we get dog mm. the cat walked to the dog okay there's a sentence that would work clone this oh wait this is the beginning of a sentence what would we have to do can use it for that as well. Here's the end of a sentence. What are we going to have to put? Okay. Possible way that you could use this. Another option here is the random word notepad. And you click, and these are pre populated. And notice there is no arrow to export these put them onto the page and finally the third option the random word slot machine again you notice no gear no way to edit these and no arrow to import the words out onto the page so you use the words that are there maybe rhyming words maybe write a sentence using the word. Those are the random word generator widgets. As you explore those, you'll find ways to use them in your lessons.